This one is about a Pharisee named Simon. Okay? And a joke. Well, you gotta consider who it was get who Nobel was. Mm -hmm. Who was Nobel? Uh, oh, be at peace. <laughs> that's, that's your oh hey, here's the prize, another stick of dynamite. Who can forgive sins except God alone? Mm -hmm. oh, Lord, thank you that you can forgive our sins. Amen. 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 Heart is deceitful above all things, and it, it is incurable. Who can know it? The last point of Herb Ting said we're sometimes a Pharisee and we're sometimes the yeah. simple woman. Guys is old. Is all this guy. They all fall short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. So, like, nobody is like, well, that can't be me. Too. I don't sin. Mm -hmm. To live a sinless life. Right. But praise the Lord, we can just turn to Him and call on His name. Appreciate that. The Lord will forgive us. And we know this person. We know this person that will forgive us every time. The story of that there was one man, and he only had 50. He only owed 50. Another one mm. owed 500. But even if you don't make the goal, but you know, it doesn't really matter because you'll still have the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Go, Joe. Go, David. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with the Lord. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, Jeremiah 17 9. The heart mm. is deceitful above mm. all things, mm. and it is mm. incurable. Who can know it? For the mindset on the flesh is death, mm. but, on, but the mindset on the spirit is life and peace. Uh, we'll, we'll have some more fellowship. Okay, the ones that are doing horseback riding stay here. The rest go out and take a pair. Okay, everyone stand up. Of the sis sister. Call free time from deep within. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Go back this way a little bit. Okay. Whether how rich or successful I'll be, or how many treasures be offered to me, there's nothing that compares to my destiny to be thoroughly filled with the Lord. I enjoyed when it said, um, God said to the rich man, foolish one, this night they are requiring your soul for me. I've found that expressing to friends about God, it's much more efficient if you <clears throat> express them through your actions rather than your speaking. So, sometimes we can't express our outwardly experience, uh, appearance, but we can't really explain it. It says if we are joined to God in our spirit and express Him in our soul, then we are truly rich in a way that cannot be taken from us. The real good news, the gospel, the gospel is, is that man can have God as his content and the meaning of his life. Without this, man is empty and vain. How the man, he's real foolish because all he ever thought was about how many things he has. And you know, you can, like, to, in today's world, people, you know, you see them and they have, like, their big, nice, fancy cars. Well, if I had a friend who was in need and always looking for something more, I would tell her that I was once empty too, but I am no longer empty because Jesus came into my heart and filled my spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Any actions show God. You know, you can't just go up to somebody and say, our soul is for us to be filled with God and express Him. You know, people will be like, I was created in God's image to express God. In the first paragraph, it says, man has two possessions. He has his body without the outward material thing. And he also has his inward parts, his soul and his spirit. All these material things are just things. They'll never truly make you happy. I mean, they won't bring you happiness. They won't help you. And then you have the most precious possession inside of you. Man has two possessions. He has his body, all the outward material thing. How? We need to pay the more attention to what's truly precious, our soul and spirit. Because that's what... That's how we express and contain God. We are foolish if we put our attention on outward things. These things can never be our life. Our life is within us and in our spirits. And that can consume us. So we just need to realize that we can't set our complete focus and our goals on the truth. Wash and guard yourself from all covetousness. For no one's life is in the abundance of his possessions. Um, I enjoy how you can have so many things, and sometimes you don't even realize that you're trying to fill yourself with those things. So, 
Like, then finally when you realize I feel alone, I feel mm -hmm. like all of these things are never going to make me feel happy. You need to the part that says we are foolish if our attention is on outward things. These things can never be our life. Well, it's like you're really bored and you feel empty, so you go and like find something to do, like to play the video game, watch movies, but they can never play your life. It doesn't matter. It's this sentence that says, Man's spirit is for containing God, and man's soul is for expressing God. It is foolish for man to pay all his attention outwardly to the material things, and so little attention to inward things that are truly precious things, and their spirit and soul. Mm -hmm. it, is, what it, says, it is foolish for man to pay all his attention to material things, and little attention on the inwardly to truly precious things, the material and soul. Like, you might think, oh, I want this bag. The new stuff that everybody has, like your friends, they have it, you have to have it. But really, you have something better than they mm -hmm. have. You have yeah. the Lord Jesus. Yeah, exactly. That's true riches. The real good news, the gospel, is that man can have God as his conscience. I enjoy what it says. Our soul is blessed and the souls of God in his presence. If we are joined to him, to God, in our spirit and his presence and his soul, then we are truly rich in the way that can satisfy. If we satisfy, we may be joined to Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Very good. It is saying that we have man, man has two possessions: the spirit and soul, and outwardly things. said to them, watch and guard yourself from all of covetousness. Focus on the inward things like the spirit instead of the outward things like money. Like, say someone won a million dollars and they put it in the bank. The next day the bank is robbed and all their money is gone. <laughs> but God said to him, foolish one, this night they are requiring your soul from you and the things which you have prepared. Whose will they be? Yes. <laughs> uh, I enjoy that we have to focus on our inward parts instead of our outward parts. Yeah, I enjoy how like people they like video games and they buy video games, mm -hmm. and then when you buy it, you're playing it, and you can't pass a level. There's not a point. You don't know what to do. God offers us true riches. And the real good news, the gospel, is that man can have God as his content, Amen. and that. And the meaning of his life. Amen. Without this man is empty and vain, regardless of how much outward wealth he accumulates. God wants us to be wise, not Amen. not foolish, and receive him as Amen. a content and meaning of our lives. Amen. Amen. I liked it how, like, for example, if you got a dozen box of donuts, and when you're done eating them, you're done. There's nothing left. That's <laughs> right. With Lord Jesus Christ, you have a return. Amen. 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 Good. Um, I enjoyed how we need to focus on God and not like the rest of us. Amen. 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 Amen.